the last shanty by Rudyard Kipling, and there was no more sea. Thus said the Lord in the vault above the cherubim calling to the angels and the souls in their degree, Lo! Earth has passed away on the smoke of judgment day. That our word may be established shall we gather up the sea? Loud sang the souls of the jolly, jolly mariners. Plague upon the hurricane that made us furl and flee. But the war is done between us. In the deep the Lord hath seen us. Our bones we'll leave the barricout, and God may sink the sea. Then said the soul of Judas that betray, Ed him. Lord, hast thou forgotten thy covenant with me? How once a year I go to cool me on the flow. And ye take my day of mercy if ye take away the sea. Then said the soul of the angel of the offshore wind. He that bits the thunder when the bull mouth breakers flee. I have watch and ward to keep o'er thy wonders on the deep. And ye take mine honor from me if ye take away the sea. Loud sang the souls of the jolly, jolly mariners. Nay, but we were angry, and a hasty folk are we. If we worked the ship together till she foundered in foul weather, are we babes that we should clamor for a vengeance on the sea? Then said the souls of the slaves that men threw overboard. Kenneled in the picaroon a weary band were we. But thy arm was strong to save, and it touched us on the wave and we drowsed the long tides idle till thy trumpets tore the sea. Then cried the soul of the stout apostle Paul to God. Once we frapped a ship, and she labored woundily. There were fourteen score of these, and they blessed thee on their knees, when they learned thy grace and glory under Malta by the sea. Loud sang the souls of the jolly, jolly mariners, plucking at their harps, and they plucked unhandily. Our thumbs are rough and tarred and the tune is something hard, may we lift a deep sea shanty, such as seamen use at sea? Then said the souls of the gentlemen adventurers, fettered wrist to bar all for red iniquity. Ho, we revel in our chains o'er the sorrow that was Spain's. Heave or sink it, leave or drink it, we were masters of the sea. Up spake the soul of a grey Gotthaven, Spectioner. He that led the flinching in the fleets of fair Dundee. Oh, the ice blink. Wide and near, and the bowhead breaching clear. Will ye whelm them all for wantonness that wallow in the sea? Loud sang the souls of the jolly, jolly mariners, crying. Under heaven, here is neither lead nor lee. Must we sing for evermore on the windless, glassy floor? Take back your golden fiddles and we'll beat to open sea. Then stooped the Lord, and he called the good. See up to him, and, stablished his borders unto all eternity that such as have no pleasure for to praise the Lord by measure, they may enter into galleons and serve him on the sea. Sun, wind, and cloud shall fail not from the face of it, stinging, ringing spindrift, nor the fulmer flying free, and the ships shall go abroad to the glory of the Lord who heard the silly sailor folk and gave them back their sea.